So in this video, we're going to use React resizable panels to build resizable panels like this, where we have nested divs or sections, and they're all resizable. You can group them together. You can have them in horizontal direction or vertical direction, all using this library, which is called React resizable panels. So we're going to continue by cloning down this template. I'm going to include a link in the description. This is a Next Shad CN template using TypeScript, Tailwind CSS, Shad CN, and Light and Dark theme. And we're going to add this resizable panels to this. I'm going to mention Shad CN and a component in Shad CN that actually is using React resizable panels under the hood at the end. But for now, let's just uh, start from this starting point on the left hand side. You can see this is our Next.js application, we have our page, this is our home page and the layout. There is a video on the channel where I walk through this setup, so if you're interested, have a look at that. But in this video, we're just going to add React Resizable panels. So let's go to the documentation for React Resizable. It's a pretty simple, straightforward component or library, really. There's these three components that you can use. The panel group is to group a bunch of panels that are going to be resized together. Panel inside of it is to just define the sections inside of that panel group. And then you have this panel resize handle, which is the handle or the border uh, between these panels, which is actually grabbable or draggable for you to be able to resize. So we're going to use these three items to create a component here. Let's call this inside of our components resizable.tsx let me close this off and let's get a component called resizable and then now here let's actually copy this code that we have here for a second we're going to then um, style it in the way that we like and then let's just return this whole thing over here now we don't have these components so let's bring in some divs that says sidebar and then let's also replace this one with a content let's remove this and also this let's save this up and i'm going to explain what's happening so we have the panel group there is different props that you can pass into each of these components inside the documentation page again the link is in the description you can see the props for each of this component. So for example, panel group has the auto save ID. This is to save the current layout or the way that it is um, on the screen to the local storage. So if you refresh, the sections remain the same way. You can give each of these layouts an ID. So if you have multiple of them, they're going to have their own value inside of your local storage. And direction, as you can see here, on layout, called when group layout changes. So event listeners, if you want to listen for the storage, as I mentioned, it's using local storage, but you can use any other storage if you want to. And then if you scroll down, you can see the props for your panel. This is the individual sections that are going to be resized. You can pass classes uh, just like any other React element to style them. You can give them a default size as it is here. There's also on resize or on expand event listeners here to listen when this specific panel is getting resized. And again, if you scroll more down, the panel resize handle is that line in between the two. So here we have the panel group. We have the first panel, which is here inside of it. I have this div that says sidebar. And then I have a resize handle. I have the second panel and then I'm closing off my panel group. So let's go back to our page and actually bring this component into our home page. So resi resizable from our components. So now let's go to our local host. The react resizable panels needs to be a client component. So we have to add this use client directive because this is using browser API so it needs access to the browser APIs so we have to add this directive to make it into a client component now let me also give this a uh, class and some styles so we have some space so as you can see I have this wider area containing two areas in between right now you cannot see this 
handlebar in between because we haven't styled it yet but I have my two sections over here now what I can do in this resizable handle is to also give it some classes some styles so I gave it a width and set it as a flex and a background of white so if I make the width a little bigger so you can see this is now my border I bring it back to one pixel so it is nice and easy and as easy as that you can create resizable panels if you want to take it further you can also bring in some icon in between and replace this with something like this let me also bring in this little grab icon from radix ui let me save this up so now this is something similar to what you would see in resizable panels where we have this line and a little icon that shows visually to the user that this is a resizable element or section so it's pretty straightforward to use this resizable panels again three different components they're different props dive into the documentation if you need more custom use cases and on the home page that we were looking at together in the beginning there's different examples if you want to view you scroll down I'm including this link in the description as well so horizontal layouts we have vertical layouts nested layouts this is the one that I showed in the beginning persistent layout is again persisting it inside of your local storage you can also persist it in an async storage like your database the overflowing of content is when you are overflown because you have resized your panel it automatically brings this as scroll bars and whatnot you can also have a look at that to get ideas of how you would want to use them something which i also found interesting is if you wanted to use this uh, through the api so instead of using the components if imperatively you want to hit the api or programmatically do this you can here it's showing that you can set different sizes for each of these panels or expand them and shrink them hide them or bring them back in so definitely have a look at the examples it can give you ideas on how you can use this now as the last point as i mentioned shatsian is also using this so if you are a fan of shatsian like i am if you look at the resizable component in shatsian this is actually using react resizable panels under the hood so this is an abstraction on top of this library as you can see it has the resizable handle the panel and the group that you can use in a similar fashion by grouping your panels give it a direction resizable panel again and then you have the handle and then you would wrap the group up now in this example there is also uh, different directions as you can see and also one with the handle a similar implementation as what i did here so if you go to the code you can see this resizable handle here has a prop you can give it with handle and if you use the with handle it just adds this icon here for you this is something chat cn has implemented uh, similar to what i have done here but if you're using react resizable this prop doesn't exist on this res panel resizable handle that you get out of uh, the react resizable panel but if you want or if you're already using chat cn you can just go ahead and use this abstraction which makes it even easier to use this or these props and that's a wrap for this video folks this is the easiest way to add resizable panels in react if you have any questions like always hit me up in the comments and i'll see you in the next one bye bye